The TT platform gives you the flexibility to create accounts and organize them in hierarchical structure to suit your business needs. You can create accounts, sub-accounts, or even non-routing accounts for risk management or back office purposes. After associating an account with an exchange connection, users who have trading permissions on that account are ready to trade. To create an account, first select Accounts in the Setup app and then click New Account. Let's name our account XYZ and provide a description of Joe Trader's account. Using the parent field, we can create a hierarchy of accounts that model our specific business requirements. An account can only have one parent account, but parent accounts can have multiple children or sub-accounts. In our example, XYZ is a top-level account, so we will apply the default settings of None for Parent. The type setting specifies whether the account is a routing account or a non-routing account. If it is a routing account, you can choose to send either the account or the parent account to the exchange. If it is a non-routing account, you can use it to aggregate positions in multiple routing accounts. This flexibility gives you the ability to manage risk and view activity however you like. Since this is a top-level account and will be used to send orders to the exchange, we will select Routing External Clearing. The Order Cross Prevention setting provides different methods for preventing self-matching. For now, we will not use this capability on account XYZ. By default, trading is disabled when you create a new account. We need to uncheck Disable Trading to be able to trade for account XYZ. If this account had child accounts, the sub-accounts option could turn off trading for all of them at once. We can reject duplicate orders in the account for a specific time frame using the Prevent Duplicate Order settings, but we can enable that at a later time. We can also enable TTOMS functionality on the account when we create it, but we will enable these features at a later time as they are not required for basic order routing. Click Create once you have defined the account settings. Account XYZ now appears in the account data grid. With our new account selected, we can go to our User tab and click Add to add a trader to the account. We select Joe Trader from our list of users. Doing so will provide a list of order permissions that can be assigned to this user of the account. We will give Joe full order permissions and check every box. Next, we will set risk limits on the account. We can apply general limits across all exchanges and product types, or we can add specific limits at that contract level. After making sure Apply Limits box is checked, Let's click Add to add position limits. We will select CME and Futures and then click Add. Since we did not specify a product or contract, these limits will apply to all Futures products on CME. Let's set Max Position Family Net, which is applied at the product family level, to 100. Let's also set the Max Long Position per contract and Max Short Position per contract to 100. In this case, the contract limit will apply to every Futures contract on CME. We will not use the other general risk checks on this account, but we will allow trade out. This allows a user to exceed the max order quantities on an account if they are reducing an open position. We will then enable trading allowed for outrights and set a max order quantity of 25. We will also separately set a max order quantity of 25 for spreads and strategies. After we click Save Changes, we click Continue and Save and can view all of the limits that have been added to the account. Notice the asterisk or wildcard in the product and contract fields, which means all. Then, click the SOD credit tab to configure the account position reset time, automatic SOD functionality, and daily credit limit. The account position settings determine when an account's credit and positions reset, and whether positions are converted to start of day records or removed at the position reset time. We are going to select Create Start of Day Records and set our time to 1640 in our time zone to America Chicago. Now, let's set a daily loss limit. Make sure that the credit checkbox is checked and set the daily limit to 2000. Next, we'll select a rule for calculating available credit. For this account, we'll select Apply PL so that any profits or losses that accrue during the day are added or subtracted from the account's available credit. We also have the option to set a post trade action if our daily credit falls below a certain limit. We then click Save Changes and Continue and Save to apply our credit limit. Finally, let's go to our Connections tab to assign the account to one of our exchange connections. Let's click Add and select our CME connection and click Save. Now any user we assign to this account will be able to trade on CME. Next, we go to the Exchanges tab. Several exchanges require specific parameters when submitting orders. Our account's CME connection requires CTI and Origin. 
This account will not need a fix session. On the Restrictions tab, we can add restrictions that apply to the account and its children, no matter which user is assigned to the account. This is useful if this account will be shared with another company. We do not need to apply additional restrictions to this account, so we will click Allow All. Lastly, if this account was shared between your company and another, you would add that company to the account on the Sharing tab. We now have a routable account to which users can be assigned to begin trading. For more information, visit our website at tradingtechnologies.com.